Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 12 of Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Reich. Uh, we managed in the last video to get the Netherlands to capitulate. We're currently sort of pushing our way into Scandinavia. I guess now that we've dealt with the Netherlands, we need to, well we need to continue to sort of move in there because they do still have some land that we are not controlling. Uh, once we get in there, then we will start to work on Belgium, hopefully get them out of the war pretty quickly. Um, the Netherlands are still uh, holding their own. They do have troops there, so they're not really capitulating all that hard, are they? Uh, we also haven't managed to take Luxembourg out yet either. France do seem to be eating their way into us a little bit over here, which is a little bit worrying. We've got the uh, the loners here that aren't really doing anything. Let's go ahead and give you an offensive line up to this uh, river here. And the reason we're going to do that is so you get a planning bonus. And then we're just going to get you to push back against France at some point. Um, the uh, the green army down here, our French front, are starting to push in. They're doing quite well. There's a couple of little bits of combat that they're not doing a great job on. And of course, the line is getting stretched. But we will be able to move in on France uh, in the not-too-distant future. But the main thing is that we try and uh, win a battle down here. Let's go ahead and just put the game back up to speed 3. I don't think there's any reason to have it going... Um, quite this uh, slowly at the moment. Um, we definitely do want to get some more cavalry. We've got another um, Panzer Division there. Let's go and put that Panzer Division in um, the First Reserves. And uh, where are the First Reserves these days? You are the guys that are pushing down here. So th those are the First Reserves. So let's go ahead and put the Panzer onto that. Um, Italy wants to send us three divisions. No, keep your own divisions. Looks like we might actually win a battle down here. There's one that would, looks like we're losing, but we should be able to uh, work our way in. Our uh, fleet is repairing. That is absolutely fine. And we have started to make our way in up here against Norway. So that is fantastic. So what we want to do, I'm just going to pause again. We're going to select the Panzer Division. We want to build ourselves another offensive front line. And we want to sort of work our way across to, say, here. Yep, we want it to come from these guys. 12 divisions selected, so that's fine. Um, these guys are working their way up to this line. So we'll be doing a bit of a split here. You are saying you're not ready yet. Division is still preparing and some divisions are not in position. So we will give them all time to sort of get ready. We do have a few units that are on low organization. So we'll just give them a bit of time to sort themselves out. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think uh, I think we'll be able to do well here. There we go. There's another division just got into place. I mean, that division could just move straight into there. That would be absolutely fine. Um, we can modify our government. We've got port strike down here. That's unfortunate. What happened? don't think we lost anything. Um, modify our government. What do we want to do here? So we're on extensive conscription, free trade, and war economy. We could go to total mobilization. Um... So consumer goods factories 15 would go down to 10. Recruitable population goes down slightly. Uh, military factory construction speed goes up by 10%. That's probably worth having. So let's go ahead and go for that. We do lose a little bit of our manpower, but we, we can get more quite easily. Still a few things we can do to sort that out. So we want to get ready to make our push up here. Um, you are fairly confident now, I think. You're still not all in position, but we're just going to go ahead anyway and just sort of push. Still getting uh, port strikes going on down here. Although that was Norway, and Norway actually lost a bomber, so that didn't work out too well for them, did it? Um, let's go ahead and get the, um, the loners and get these guys now to... Uh, it's you guys, isn't it? You're the loners. Get these guys to push. Uh, let's just put you on uh, normal sort of battle plans. Doesn't it look like we're going to push in very well there but we'll give it a go um and we're also not doing particularly well down here once we've managed to get um scandinavia to capitulate though we can bring the tanks down here and that will help out quite a lot at least i think it will that's kind of the plan that i'm going for 
Uh, the push against Norway is going incredibly quickly. I don't know how many units they've got, but it should be really, really easy to push them back. We're not at war with Finland. Uh, we've also got the Soviet Union on our side as well. Uh, which wars are going on at the moment? So there's the Japanese-Chinese war. There's the German-Polish war. Uh, there's a lot of people in there, but hopefully we can get most of these guys out. But we do need to start thinking about how we can get over to Great Britain. Obviously, they probably have naval superiority, so naval landings are a little bit risky. And they've most likely got air superiority as well, so being able to do um, uh, power drops are also very, very risky. But not impossible. We'll, we'll have a look and see how we are going to work that out. We will start upgrading our tanks. The loners aren't doing a particularly good job here. In fact, nobody is really. The green line, which is our French front, they actually managed to reach the, um, the line that we gave them. So let's say we want to go ahead and give them a brand new um, attack order and tell them to go in that direction, which I uh, I think I do. In fact, if we, if we do that correctly, because that line didn't draw where I wanted it, I want you guys to get these provinces up here, along to and including Paris. It's still not going up to that line, which is weird, but... Um, well, they are, but they're going in from the from the, the back there, which is a little bit silly. Wanted to go in from this side, but that's fine. Um, you guys can go in when you are ready. We need to keep pushing against France. The only reason France are hanging on so uh, long is that they've got a lot of British troops here that are helping them out. Um, looks like we might finally be able to uh, take Eindhoven. Even though the Netherlands have capitulated, they're still um, putting up a fight. And uh, how are things going over here? Norway's getting absolutely wrecked. We've also got some... Uh, is that New Zealand or is that Australia? One or the other. There's some of their divisions in up there as well. And things are going quite well at the top, so I don't mind that too much. Uh, we are still producing some units. We'll have some more infantry coming out very soon. We are still working on some more tanks. Um, military police aren't finished yet. Um, weapons we're now actually working on. Oh, we're not we're not down. We're just upgrading. There we go. So that's not too bad. We are still down on uh, artillery and support equipment, though, which is a little bit of a problem. So we will probably want to get more factories on that as soon as possible. Uh, again, artillery is mainly um, upgrading. So what have we got here? Japanese diplomats in Berlin. A new partnership is develop developing between Tokyo and Berlin. Negotiations have begun for a pact between the two states, citing both strategic interests and shared values. While it remains to be seen what, if anything, comes from these negotiations, the prospect of a friendship between some of the strongest military forces on each hemisphere is cause for celebration for their allies, and a cause to worry for their many enemies. This will make us stronger. Awesome, got an extra research slot. Uh, we can invite to faction. Brilliant. Um, so we can now invite uh, Japan into um, the uh, into Axis. We can set a new national focus. Um, we're probably not going for nukes just yet. Let's have a look what, if anything else, we want to go for down the rest of the tree. Uh, what would this give us? Gives us a conquer focus against Norway and Denmark. Um, gives us reduction in ahead of time penalty for transport ships landing craft and advanced landing craft. Allows us to go for this war with France. Netherlands is not in a faction with the German, nor is Belgium, nor is Luxembourg. We get the conquer focus against those nations. Again, we don't really need those. Demand Slovenia, we don't need any of those. Um... Yeah, let's try and get the Navy up a little bit. We'll start working on that. And we've got a new research slot available. Got two research slots available, actually. Uh, we're still ahead of time on the construction stuff. How about engineering? Um, let us work on um, improved computing machine. We've got another slot open as well. Uh, we could go for encryption. We probably should. Let's get that done. Let's unpause and carry on. Japan has agreed to join Axis. Whether or not they'll send any units over to help us, I do not know. They might do. See, the, just one division of light tanks is doing amazingly well over here. Looks like we've uh, ran into some American um, ships. In fact, they've got three submarines and another ship that we cannot see. Uh, but I'm guessing we're going to win that encounter quite easily. 
We've got 23 submarines of our own that are about to move in. Yeah, they're not going to win that encounter at all. In fact, they'll probably end up losing most of their submarines. All good. That's another naval battle won. I see, we might be keeping France distracted over here and Spain are just eating them up from the south, so that's fine. We've got another battle going on over here somewhere. Again, this is Sweden. I've only got a single submarine. They are going down, so we're not too concerned about that. I can't believe the amount of units I've got on this border and we cannot actually push in. So let's see, who have we got up here at the top? We have got the Lowlands Front. Why aren't you guys actually managing to push in? Um... Because you've all got, like, full organisation. Blitzkrieg has finished. Hungary want to send us seven divisions. Do you know what? I'll accept because they can't be... Uh, you know, the more the merrier. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our um, navy. Can we get better submarines yet? We can. Let's go for the better subs. Uh, which subs are we actually working on? Am I working on the Type 2s or am I still working on Type 1s? We are working on Type 2s. So we are going to be getting some better submarines um, that heavy cruiser is going to take forever to finish, but we'll, we'll let it continue on anyway. Um, let's make sure that we are unpaused. So you guys aren't actually pushing in now, but we're, we're going to tell you to. So hopefully you will push in and get some work done. And then we'll be able to get rid of Netherlands completely. We still haven't managed to take out um, Luxembourg yet. You can see that Belgium's got like 48 divisions um, sat in Luxembourg, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. But we will still try and push in where we can. We will need to sort of redeploy some of these lines at some point. Uh, the United Kingdom are doing their best to help out France, but I don't... Mind you, Spain's really having some problems down here in the, uh, in the south. Uh, how is um, Africa looking? Not that many of these provinces are really worth anything, so it's fairly... Uh, Fairly boring down there at the moment. There's more naval combat going on over here. Again, one that we should easily win. But yeah, as soon as I can get my tanks down to help, I think that's really going to um, improve the situation. We just need these units to sort of get moved in where they can and not sort of sit leaving uh, leaving tiles empty. I think what I should do, and we'll wait till this guy moves out of this tile, is do just a little bit of manual work. Because... Um, the, the way the AI pushes is often quite ridiculous. Uh, when are you actually going to arrive? You've arrived now. So if I move this tank in there, we can just take that province straight away. You've actually managed to push in. And the best thing to do, really, is to just surround troops. Because if you surround troops, then they just attrition and die. You know, this is, this is the way to deal with them. Right, you're actually trying to move out of there now. But what we could do is move in with you and engage you. So that stops you being able to move into that tile. And, you know, this is just what you have to do. You just have to be a little bit sneaky. There's, again, naval combat going on in the Baltic Sea. All battles that we should win relatively easily. Uh, we need to keep our eye on the rest of this border as well. It looks like Norway's defensive line is actually a lot better than Sweden's defensive line at the moment. So if we can concentrate on sort of nipping in behind Sweden and um, getting rid of them, then we can just always come back around and, and take Norway. That's not too much of a problem. But if we can get in behind these guys and kill off a few divisions, then that works out really well for us. So if we move you around over here, and we've got the advantage of you being, you know, a nice fast unit because you are a uh, you're a tank. So that should help matters down there. How are things going down here? That Lowlands Front looks like they are starting to push in. Um, we've got the, um, the home defense guys who I'm not too sure what your orders currently are because I can't see your front line. So let's go ahead and delete all your orders. Um, in fact, I don't think you have any. So let's give you a front line. And I just want to... Oh, no, actually, I'm not even going to bother doing that. We're literally just going to march you in here now. Because you guys are all completely cut off. Um, I've lost you already. The home defense. You guys just march in there. And then I think we'll have to move down and... Um, sort of go after France, how they're trying to expand down here. We need to shorten these lines, and I think what we'll do, uh, I think the French front will tell them to stop. We will um, expand this line down here, and we will shorten it to there. 
So they're just going to be on the south side of that. It'll, this should all work out. We should be able to get there without too much of an issue, hopefully. Um, how are things going on up here? We have managed to cut these guys off. So as you can see, these guys are now trapped. Well, they were trapped, and then somebody managed to move in and untrap them. But this guy's going to get screwed because he is completely cut off. So that will be a division lost. And then we'll move around and sort of sweep up behind them where we can. The rest of the divisions will just keep everything busy down here in Norway. So I am happy with how that is going at the moment. We need to get rid of France. See, um, Great Britain have landed down here in the bit that uh, Spain are controlling. Also, they've just given some of it over to Italy as well. Um, the first reserves, you were the guys that are supposed to be pushing into Belgium and you're not getting anything done at all. Uh, we want to grab the, not the loners, we want our home defence. I'm starting to think, because you guys weren't really doing anything, we should probably send you down to help out with Spain. So let's put your strategic redeployment on. And let's get you, um, let's get you all down here, if we can. And then from here, we want to move you into, um, into Spain and then we'll we'll take this chunk out down here and then we'll move down and try and help Spain because Spain are about to lose Madrid we really really don't want that to happen so we need those we need to sort these things out as soon as we can um, we're still not quite managing to get that push done down there how about up here see things are going much better up here now because we can take one tank and what we could do is just try and You've got to be really, really quick if you want to sort of um, go from holding into moving. But we can literally just go around behind all of these guys. Oh, they've, they've magically and mysteriously managed to gain another unit over there. But we can go ahead and deal with that. Any tiles that we can see that don't have a unit in, we should instantly move into and take. As you can see, it's much better to sort of push manually most of the time than it is to let the AI try and deal with it. Because the AI just doesn't seem to cope very well uh, with dealing with a lot of these things. Uh, we have taken out all of what was the Netherlands. So the Lowlands Front, your new front line, is going to be along here. You are going to try and take out Belgium. And... Um, what we want to do is we want to get... Was it the home defence? It was the home defence. You oh, you guys got there pretty quickly. So your front line is going to be here. And your offensive line is going to be all the way up to the coast. We have a new research slot available. We're still behind the time. Let's go and work on excavation so we get a little bit more um, value from our resources. As soon as these guys are all redeployed, they can go. In fact, they're almost ready, so I'm just going to tell them to go as is. That might be enough for them to get stuff done. Seems to be a lot of redeployment going on over here. And then we'll need to go and mop up Africa at some point. But in the meantime, let's make sure we continue dealing with Scandinavia. Um, looks like this line is being left a little bit thin up in this direction, so we do need to be very, very careful with that. Where are you moving to? You probably want to move in. See, what we can do, even though this is behind the front line, is we can move in behind these guys and sort of cut them off. Which will make it them a lot easier for us to destroy. Uh, naval rearmament is done. So, now that we've got that, that should give us some more ports. We'll work on naval effort. So that'll help us out even more. Let's make sure we are still unpaused. These tanks should win most of the battles that they are engaged in, so I'm not too concerned about that overly. Uh, it would be nice if we could... Uh, oh, we are making a push down here, so I don't think I need to babysit those too much. The tanks are actually doing quite well. Um, Belgium should not take too long to fall. Uh, this little battle up here is doing very well as well. These guys have got nowhere to go, so they're all going to get surrounded, and they're all stuck in one final province, and then they will be done. So we'll wait for all those guys to get killed and then we will head south and try and help out Spain. They've also landed a few troops over here as well. That's actually Australia getting involved there. So we need to go and deal with that. 
So we'll wait until these guys are finished. It says the battle is going to last for another two days. They are still getting... No, they don't have the port. The port's next to them, so they don't have any supplies. So those guys are going to get killed off. Hopefully very soon. It's already at 99%. Shouldn't take too long, so there's that done. So you guys want to have a new front line. You're going to be... Um, no, nope, that's wrong. You are going to be there. So we'll push in there. And then we'll move south and start trying to uh, fight against England down there and, and help them out that way. Um, how are things going on up here? You guys are sort of working your way in. Now, what's this sort of orangey coloured line? These are the, the, the second loners, shall we call them. Um, where is the end of your line? It's this one here, isn't it? So if we move you up a little and move the other end of your line down a little and then you'll have a smaller line to defend. Another research slot is available. Um, we could go and... What should we do? Should we work on the radar? Because we're not really building radar stations. Uh, we're not working on anti-air. We could improve our artillery. Let's go ahead and do that. Even though we are still working on uh, building better artillery. And uh, hopefully, when we come back in the next video, we will be able to eliminate Belgium before moving on to Luxembourg. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Hearts of Iron 4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.